Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to the We All Juggle Knives channel and my review of this light, the Black Scout Survival V4, now manufactured by Thrunite. Formerly this was made by WowTac, but this is the Thrunite model. As you know, Thrunite does the technical support for WowTac, and this actually comes with a WowTac battery, which is very high quality. In the background for eye candy, I have the new SOG Power Access Assist multi-tool. I've been trying it out, so you might see that coming up in future videos. Now, Thrunite has significantly increased the brightness on this flashlight compared to the WowTac version, which I previously reviewed. Okay, here are the stats on this light. You see the run times there as well. So it has five brightness levels and one special mode, which is strobe. The maximum lumens, 2,523. And the max beam distance, 250 meters. Here is a closer look at the light. As you see, it has a side switch. It has a tail switch. It has texture here to enhance grip. It has some baffles here for more surface area to disperse excess heat. It has a wicked, very wicked crenellated bezel. That's a, an impact device. It's got a pocket clip which is removable. And it's got wings here that allow it to tail stand. And they also just protect the tail switch, and they have lanyard slots in them as well. Comes with an 18650 battery. To access it, just unscrew the tail cap. Like I said, it's a WowTac battery. And that's a very high quality battery to be able to power the turbo mode. This also comes with a red filter that you can screw on in place of that uh, impact device. I'll demo that outside as well, but that's pretty cool. Red filter. This has a smooth reflector, by the way. Now that is the charging port cover. This comes with a lot of other stuff. An extra port cover, uh, an extra uh, rubber cover for the tail switch, some spare O-rings, the lanyard, a USB to micro USB recharging cable, and it also comes with this belt holster, which has a loop there. And that, Velcro overflap. In order to recharge the battery in the light, just connect this to any USB power source. That's a power bank using your charging cable. All right, and when it is recharging, that will be red. That's red. And when it is fully charged, that will glow blue. Operation of the light. To turn it on, press the side switch. To turn it off, press the side switch. It has mode memory, so it'll remember what brightness level you turned it off in. Once it is on, you can press and hold and cycle through low, medium, and high mode. Let's do that now. Medium, that's the high mode. Double tap for turbo. That's, that's super bright. It also has a firefly mode. When it is off, if you long press, you'll get to an ultra low firefly mode. Triple tap will bring strobe. All right, warning, we're going to strobe you. There you go. Now, the tail switch. Well, if you press it halfway, you get momentary on in turbo. Or if you full click it, you got turbo. So basically, instant access to turbo. Okay, at this time, I'm going to roll in the outside testing and demonstration footage. And then we'll come back for final thoughts on this latest Black Scout Survival flashlight by Thrunite. Okay, YouTube, we're out here on the old testing board with this Thrunite Black Scout Survival flashlight. This is the low mode. Let's cycle through the brightness levels. That is the high mode. Let's go turbo. Wow. Right in there, you, you can see the lit side switch as well. All right, warning, we're going to strobe you. And there is the strobe. All right, there is the firefly mode. Not sure if you can see it on the board, but there it is, low light mode. And here is the light with the red filter. All right, this is the low mode. And that is the high mode. 
and that is the turbo with the red filter. I like to pretend I'm like in an Aliens movie or a Predator movie, something like that. Okay, YouTube, we are out on the road with this through night flashlight. Let's provide some more light. All right, it is well below freezing here, and it's about 2 a.m. There's no street lights on this road. Let's see what we can see. If you broke down in bad conditions, this is what you'd be seeing with this light. Let me go turbo. There's turbo. Wow. Yeah, this lights things up nicely. All right, what's over here? Just more woods, you know? Lots of raccoons, lots of possums, uh, the occasional fox, the occasional coyote. And here's a top view of the beam shot. Nice river of light. All right, let's go check out the creek. Okay, YouTube, we are standing up on the uh, one of the banks of Frog Creek. Let's go turbo. And there is the creek. Wow, it is flowing strongly. And yeah, it's definitely got yeah, some ice there. This is quite bright. I can feel this light is getting hot because of the turbo mode. It does feel good though, because my, my uh, fingers are pretty cold. I do have gloves, but I have to touch the, uh, the settings on the camcorder, so I'm not wearing any gloves right now. But yeah, it goes up to the treetops. Alright, YouTube, that's Black Scout Survival Flashlight surviving Frog Creek. Okay, YouTube, we're at the sports field with this through night light. Let's see if it can cross the field. I'm at one goal. Where is it? There we go. All right, I can just see it through the viewfinder. Will it focus? It's kind of hard to tell squinting at the viewfinder. But yeah, it definitely crosses the field. Maybe it'll focus better like that. You hear the train? There's a freight train in the background. But there is the other goal, the opposite goal. All right, so this is doing an excellent job in a very, it's a slightly hazy conditions. Yeah, but there you go. So excellent range. I'm getting some good range with this light. Yeah, you can see my breath. <sighs> you see that's like a dragon, geez. Yeah, this is gonna step down soon, but Good job by through night. Certainly very bright. Excellent range at practical distances. All right, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed that. We are back. So final thoughts and conclusions about this light. Well, I like that they made it even brighter. I mean, for a single battery light, you know, over 2,500 lumens in turbo mode, that is very bright. Well, bright enough to uh, temporarily blind any wrongdoers. Right, and the shark's teeth, that's what I'm going to call them, the shark's teeth, uh, those are wicked. And, you know, in the coming year and probably the coming decade, uh, you're going to see an entire resurgence of probably violence, which will cause a resurgence of interest in self-protection. And, you know, what would that, what would that impact device do to someone's front teeth? Right? What would it do if you, well, I can't get too graphic because Google will censor me. So just use your imaginations of how you could use that to persuade someone. But it's a great feature, and I like that, you know, you can switch, you can remove that. I like that it comes with a red filter, too, that has many uses, uh, hunting varmints at night, for example. I think a lot of people who have enjoyed the previous models are probably eventually going to upgrade to this model and then you can just use the older model as a backup. I mean, you can always use another flashlight, put it in a kit, uh, keep it by a window. I am going to hit up through night for a discount code. So if they give me any kind of discount code, I will put that information in a link in the text description box. But uh, those only, those usually don't last um, too long, but maybe it'll last uh, 
yeah, a few few weeks. So check that out. Check out all the links. I'm going to have all the relevant through night links as well as links to just useful items of all types. All right, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this review. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Lights. I'm out.